Let's have a look at another. This is a really interesting story on the front page of the Oz tomorrow. Covert culture cops drop in for a chilling home visit with threat of $346,000 fine. Public service investigators armed with rare search, seizure and entry powers are using draconian culture heritage laws to threaten Victorian rock climbers and others with heavy fines of more than $346,000 per offence. The story goes on to talk about how a lot of rock climbing in the Grampians has been banned because we want to protect um, Aboriginal rock art, even though some of this rock art has to be seen using X-ray glasses because it's invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> but the... Uh, First People's State Relations Unit, which works in collaboration with the Premier's Department, has been going around taking number plates in car parks around the Grampians and then they've gone to someone's house and left a letter asking for a please explain why you were in that area because otherwise you could be up for an almost half a million dollar fine on the assumption you were there rock climbing where you ought not to have been. It's pretty unbelievable. Oh, for the sake of some squiggles, squiggles on a rock somewhere. This is this I, is getting I, ridiculous. I think I'll protect the rock art by all means, but this sounds really kind of nefarious. This sounds like the sort of thing you do in Soviet Russia, not in yeah, exactly. Soviet Victoria. Yeah. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. <laughs>